welcome to the second tutorial of uh, uh, of this active control model here we will uh, cover geodesic active control model which is based on uh, level set formulation uh, it is different from what we have just covered the snake model so how is it different so in the snake model we start with uh, the initial snake initial an initial curve uh, for example it is C the curve was C it was parameterized by S and then we had an uh, explicit evolution equation of C like del C by del T is equal to something but in level set formulation we do not have an we do not have a such explicit equation for C instead we have something else so what is this so you can refer to this page so the idea of so basically there's a, these are implicit contours so this phi so uh, what is this phi so instead of evolving c we evolve a surface which is represented by phi and this and with the help of phi we can uh, like calculate uh, we can like uh, estimate the location of uh, c in an implicit way how it is as you can read here the idea of evolving a surface instead of front c was proposed and the front is defined to be all points so the front is defined to be all points where the surface has no height right so if phi you can also think of as a height function that we are going to evolve so, so this is the main difference between the two uh, for more details please refer to the uh, lecture videos right my explanation is not very good but you can refer to uh, lecture video I have added the timestamps here. So, uh, so although there is little difference in uh, what we are going to evolve, whether it is uh, uh, contour or the uh, height function, the main theme of all these models is this: you start with a functional, right? And uh, functional contains uh, some energy terms. With that, you calculate some forces also right and then uh, uh, use all this Euler Lagrange equation and find some partial differential equation that you solve numerically right and then you find the uh, uh, then you do the segmentation right so uh, in in this in this method uh, an edge indicator function is first uh, defined because it is used in the energy functional so here the edge indicator function is 1 upon 1 plus gradient of j sigma into uh, j sigma convolved with i square so so you would have you, you have already seen this thing earlier given an image we can we use this uh, uh, gaussian blurring to like widen the well widen the potential energy well so that is one thing and second and then uh, uh, this this uh, this indicator function as you can see when gradient is high right? gradient is high uh, its value becomes low right so it becomes less so this is the purpose of it so this g is used in the uh, energy functional here then we have some direct delta function also that we have to smooth because uh, we want our function to be differentiable at all times so we use some smooth del delta function and finally we have this equation right so we are not going to the details of how we got here and even what these terms mean but you can refer to uh, this timestamp of lecture video to understand what this equation means so uh, in the MATLAB code that we will share with you uh, the idea is same but the functional that has been used has some additional terms also so you need, so you, you need not to worry about it uh, even though the code is little bit advanced but you will find that the ideas that we have seen in the lecture videos are sitting there this is the main purpose of this tutorial so that snake one was a more detailed uh, tutorial but here we are just trying to show you that whatever you have learnt in this lecture video it is sitting there even in the advanced codes so for example in this code you will see uh, we start with some initial 
phi for example this a binary step function then we have the same as indicator function that we were that you uh, that's are taught in the class right 1 upon grad g sigma to i square so this is how you implement it in matlab so i am just attaching uh, some snapshots of that uh, code to right so here you have initial phi then you have as indicator function then this is smoothing function also so here they have used some other function you can try you can also try the one that sir taught in the class right it is up to you so but the idea is smoothing function is used there and this level set evolution equation you see here you have uh, some additional terms also uh, and uh, their weights are mu lambda and alpha so if you want to like uh, shut down some of the terms you can just set alpha equal to 0 or mu equal to 0 and maybe right so you understood so uh, then you can like and this is the evolution it is a solution numerical solution for, for this so the idea is whatever you have been taught is already present in this code also you can play with it you can add your own terms remove some of them and uh, understand the code more so for example i will show some demo here so hopefully you would have seen this so you start with some uh, initial uh, initial function level set function in this case it is binary step and after some time it evolves right so after some 200 iterations uh, this binary function is evolved to this shape and now we are able to capture uh, these two also so these two objects are very nicely segmented by uh, uh, by our level set formulation so that is first demo you can uh, there is another demo that is available so, he, so initially you have a level set function of this type and after some time it evolves and it uh, captures the boundary of the object right and this is the final shape of the level set function so the main idea is you can see we are evolving a level set function and uh, therefore we are able to uh, like uh, see the evolution of contour as well in an implicit way right and uh, the main thing is whatever thing whatever uh, uh, idea that have that uh, sir has conveyed during the lecture video that are present in this code as well right and some additional ideas also so you can take a look at this code play with it and uh, understand it more so that's all for uh, this tutorial thanks for your time